Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to look at Microsoft's Fi 2 and how we can inference this model uh, within Google Colab. So Microsoft has now you know, made this model available on Hugging Face. So we can inference this through the Hugging Face repository, right? So we can download the model weights and the tokenizer and then inference it and we can test it out on, you know, different kind of huge cases because Microsoft says that Phi2 has better knowledge and reasoning abilities, can solve problems of physics and mathematics and so on and so forth. And that's what we are going to test it out in this video that how we can, you know, basically use Microsoft Phi, which is a small language model. I already have created a video on intro, intro video on Phi2 the same day when it was released, okay, a couple of days back, uh, where, you know, I explained the uh, high level detail uh, of Microsoft's Phi2. Uh, which is 2.7 billion parameter model which is a small language model so the, the journey has started from phi 1 to phi 1.5 and phi 2 so they had a paper called textbooks are all you need that's when they uh, created phi 1 and i created this video uh, once phi 1 was released early this year okay and now we have phi 2 so we'll test it out on a few huge cases and we'll see how better this model is because I'm not a big fan of evaluation benchmarks, the, all the evaluation benchmarks like human eval or MMLU or HELA swag and etc. etc. right because you can overtune these models when you are training it on this evaluations benchmark. So uh, nowadays evaluation benchmark can be a hoax. You cannot depend on this benchmarking criteria to uh, test it out until you test it out yourself on different kind of huge cases and complex problems So let's try it out and see how we can inference this model uh, in Colab on a free GPU the T4 GPU that you have All right, uh, so to experiment with Phi 2 uh, What we are going to do is we're going to use this hugging face repository of Microsoft where they have made Phi 2 available and if you come here on files and versions, you will find out around 5 GB of a file of a safe tensor and the other is around 600 MB. Now, these are the model weights we're going to, you know, utilize to inference the model that we're going to test it out. Now, here I am in on Google Colab uh, on a T4 GPU. It's a, it's a free version. You can leverage T4 and that's what we are going to do here. Now, to first... Uh, we have to install the libraries, so let's do transformers and quickly sentence piece, which, which is one of the dependency of transformers, and then accelerate library that will help us. Basically, it's a self-explanatory, right? It accelerate the in, uh, inference. Now the bits and bytes, uh, bit send bytes, and then ei knobs. Now let's install this. Now once I install this, it will take a bit of time to install. Let's uh, add a couple of more cells here okay after this i will just add a text cell and here i will write you know a uh, tokenizer and model prep and this is what i'm going to do now in this the first thing that we have to load is the auto causal because it's a text generation task that we are working on so import auto tokenizer and auto model for causal lm the next is import torch so let's do that now after that we're going to have tokenizer so let's do tokenizer equal auto tokenizer dot from pre-trained okay uh, uh let me remove this okay i also don't need this it's using dialo gpt it has suggested which is a which is a model that helps you build conversational interface now here i'm going to use this model repository now let's come here copy it now what i also do is i'll also do trust remote code equals true which is a boolean value anyway so trust remote code equals true let's do that the tokenizer thing now once we get the tokenizer it will download all the configs the vocabs the uh, json etc now tokenizer is done same way we have to do it for model it will take a bit of time to do that now auto causal so it will yeah you can see it says microsoft phi 2 but here we're going to have some of the other parameters like torch d type the tensors data type of the tensors let's keep auto for this 
okay now after that uh device map equals also auto and then you have trust remote code equals true now this will take a bit of time to uh, download the model weights you can see it, is, it gets the sorted model weights uh, that it gets you can see downloading starts you know so it will take a bit of time so let me uh, do one thing let me pause the video here and once it's done i will resume the video from there all right uh, so you can see that model weights has been downloaded here the model weights we downloaded that now let's uh, create a prompt so the prompt basically it you know you can use a qa uh, uh, prompt you can use a chat prompt uh, this is what they recommend on their website or the blog uh, that they published and also on hugging face uh, repository so i'll just keep it something like you know user where i will ask my question the first question i'm going to ask is uh, uh let's ask what is the uh square root of banana okay uh this is my question now uh you have assistant that is basically phi2 which will reply to this uh we, we basically it will generate the response okay so let's do that here now prompt is set now once the prompt is set what i'm going to do is i'm going to use model dot generate so you have model that you are using from auto model for causal lm now you have to just do model dot generate with torch no grad now we need token ids and this is right so tokenizer but it should be tokenizer dot encode we're gonna do an encoding and in after that we'll do a decoding so encoder and decoder so encode you're gonna pass prompt and let's also pass then we have to pass spatial tokens so add space excuse me add spatial tokens equals false which is a boolean value and then return tensor equals to pi torch now this is fine let's we don't need this input ids here okay now what we're gonna do is output ids okay now we're gonna use model or generate function so model or generate and here uh token ids and in token ids what we are going to do is we're gonna bind this with device to two uh what do we do model or device correct now this would be max new tokens which is right which is not max length so let me just remove that and make this 512 for simplicity do samples true let's remove this couple of thingy from here now uh do sample temperature let's keep temperature at least temperature equals let's keep it 0 0.3 okay so temperature do sample true max new tokens and then token ids now this is fine now the output where you're gonna have the decode so tokenizer dot decode and then we'll pass our output ids so output ids and then also with this one more list where we'll also pass the token ids and the size so token ids dot size and then you find that's all okay and then you just print the output or let's say let's run it here it will take a bit of time to basically you know generate the response if it takes more than 30 seconds then probably it's not worth to use or even on t4 because it's a small language model 2.7 billion parameter now once it gets quantized probably you know then it will also further reduce down to something like you know even le less than a billion i guess that's that's a possibility as well then you'll be able to able to run it on embedded devices as well now uh guys since it is a uh let me just print this okay and let me see if it i'm gonna print this here the output now as as we know that this is a, it's a base model so in the base model you know it will generate a continuation of the text Okay, so you can use end of text if you are parsing the output of course you can use that and you know see i ask a question oh, what is the square root of banana and you can see the answer that we got okay completely rubbish okay so this is not what i was expecting for at least this question now what i'm gonna ask is the next question okay so let's now try it out on different question 
okay uh, uh, let me ask this question which a lot of LLMs struggles and that's why I say right I'm not a big fan of this evaluation benchmarks right because these are easy to over to you now when you are training the models the LLMs okay uh, give me a list of 13 words that have nine letters let's try it out this okay let's see this uh, what it generates The reason I'm asking all this question is because Microsoft claims that you know Phi 2 has you know better reasoning ability, better knowledge ability, better you know physics mathematics uh, capabilities, and that's why we are testing this out and see uh, what kind of responses we are getting from a knowledge standpoint. So let's try it out now. Okay, it takes around 25 seconds on average on a T4 high RAM GPU. You can see you will be given a sentence that contains completely. You know, uh, taking a different route altogether, not giving you the answer, okay, which is really, really disappointing. Okay, now let's ask a couple of more questions and see. Oh, let me just remove this entirely. Let me see if I can have a nothing in here, and I will just uh, say, uh, for example, I'll ask Sally has Sally, and then I'll write a girl. Uh, for example has three brothers let's see like this now each brother uh, has two sisters and so how many uh, sisters does Sally have I'm asking this question I'll just see what kind of response I'm getting So, you know, on early experimentation, I was also working for some of the RAG pipeline with Phi 2. I'm not at all happy with the performance of this model. Okay, uh, to be honest, I was expecting a lot once I created the first video, but once I really tested it out on a couple of huge cases, you know, I found out that I wasn't happy. But see, uh, to find the total number of sisters, we need to multiply the number of brothers by the number of sisters each brother has. So, number of brothers equals three number of sisters each brother has okay two total number of sisters six so therefore sally has six sisters <laughs> okay uh, you do not worry about the continuation of text because you have end of text so you can parse the output just by passing an h stop uh, end of text there you can do that as a parsing now this question is uh okay now let me just ask the same question again that i asked or let me ask this question uh what is heavier uh, 1 kg of uh, feathers or 1 kg again I will ask the same 1 kg of feathers I'm just doing a repetition here of the in the question to see if it's able to infer that Hmm. Then I'll also uh, okay. Let's see that. Uh, let's see what we get in output. Both have the same weight. Okay. Both have the same weight. Okay. Uh, now I like to ask the same question again. Uh, that uh, later question because. A lot of LLMs struggle with this question. I have tested out most of the LLMs. Okay, so 13 words uh, that have nine letters. So this question also helps you guys you know mainly from an inst instruction standpoint right because it's a simple test of both instruction following and knowledge okay, this this kind of question that we test uh, uh, 
uh, to test out LLMs and that's why we are doing it here. Let's try it out and see. And see we got some response it says accomplish comfortable nine letters right if you count this one two three four five six probably more than nine more than nine so wrong answer so uh, that's why i test with this kind of question i can keep on testing questions but i was i'm not happy with uh five but let me tell you this also right because it's a 2.7 b params okay there should be some trade-off okay and i think this is a this is a trade-off i think that i will buy it and see if i use this for a specific use cases okay so i have recorded a video on rag okay using phi2 that i will create i will release very soon on my channel and for those kind of you know huge cases you know where, where we have specific huge cases it might work better and it also helps you a lot of uh a uh, lot of money from uh, the compute standpoint because you will be able to run this even on cpu okay if you have that kind of uh, machine and infra so i think that these are all trade-offs there will be performance degradation of course you know it's not that capable as for example with the uh, 70b or more than that uh, llms that we have right the gpt4 or the 3.5 of the worlds that we deal with yeah but this is what it is guys you know the inference that you can try it out and you know it's you can use it through transformers uh, auto tokenizer and uh, causal lm okay and then you have uh, a chat based prompt that you can give it to it to generate some output okay so uh this will be available on my github repository and also it's available on if you come here right it's also available on phi2 okay a code form it, it gives you some way you can see it over here but not uh, in that detail okay uh, but you know you can try it out uh, this piece of code as well it's very similar it does the same thing okay that's all with the experimentation guys that's all uh, for the experimentation guys just wanted to create a short video for the inference and i already have you know recorded a video for the rag implementation using phi2 for a code related use case where we have your coding uh, code repositories and how we can you know build a rag pipeline using phi2 for the code problems because you know the microsoft says that it works good for coding as well so we can also check that out uh, and that video will release soon as well now if you like this video uh, please hit the like icon and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel and let us know your findings thoughts and uh, feedbacks on phi2 uh, in the comment box uh, looking forward to that that's all uh, thank you so much for watching see you in the next one